audio description. A pistol scope appears similar to a target on the right side of the image, and on the left the text in bold on a great background. The educational system in the spotlight between the vulnerability and the inclusion of its school children. We want to present the inclusion of students in the classroom, not only from a clinical perspective, but focusing on the social dimension of education. We start from a shared definition of inclusion to face a brief analysis on the origin of educational systems and how these organizational structures and their agents can generate or not address the vulnerability of school children. It is necessary to understand why the school was created and what it is currently responding to. Inclusion and vulnerability in nowadays school children. Features in the, in the educational system by Sue Gutiérrez Bertiano and Marta García San Pedro. Or the description. On the left, the UNESCO icon, the silhouette of an ancient Greek temple with the acronym as its columns. This organization defines inclusive education. UNESCO. UNESCO defines inclusive education as the process of identifying and giving an answer to all students' individual necessities, promoting the widest participation in learning, culture and communities, and reducing exclusion at the schools. Ken Robinson's conference on the need for a paradigm shift in 2011, Paradigm Shift, is collected in a video uploaded to YouTube that through drone storytelling pointed out how and for what educational systems were organizing. Here we show three captures. The largest image located on the right includes the drawing in black and white comic format of a Greek temple called public education, whose pillars are the economy and the intelligentsia, located in the economic pillar. A man appears conversing with a boy who asks him about the arts, to which the man replies not to go up the stairs. He will go downstairs. On the stairs, it appears in orange, academic ability. In the lower part, there is the image of the bust of two men in profile, one of them with a candle on his head, and the 18th and 19th centuries as a timeline below. Above is indicated in the intellectual culture of the Enlightenment. A large coin with a silhouette in profile opposite to them is indicated in orange, economic circumstances. That great coin is the beginning of a gear whose base indicates the industrial revolution. It is in the upper left image when we discover a rotating gear at the base of which industrial revolution is indicated. It is similar to a globe of the world which indicates, in orange letters, revolutionary idea. An arm protrudes from his, this gear that ejects some coins and as they fall it's indicated, paid by taxes, mandatory for all and free at the point of delivery, and below them a helpless child. The economic, cultural and social context of the 18th century laid the pillars of the current educational systems, and those same pillars are the forces that determine the educational and teaching system today, and by extension, 
teacher training. As Ken Robinson tells us well in the video, today's school is not prepared to teach people, it is outdated. He works based on principles designed from the industrial era when the important thing was to train workers for the factories. In the, in the middle of the 21st century society, it's no longer industrial, but rather services society. And having a degree does not guarantee a later job. You have to train the students for life. The imminent need to renew and transform the functionality and usefulness of schools. Or the description. We may believe that all this is far away, but a 2020 study by the University of Oviedo, Spain, published in book form to give voice to the students. The main protagonist of the research shows the crisis and traumatic trajectory of young adolescents who dr have dropped out of school early. The cover of this book is collected on the left side, a background similar to a cloth configured with different types of fabrics as a patchwork in shades where violet and aqua blue predominate. Uh, predominate. The title, Resilient Youth in Adverse Socio-Educational Context, coordinated by José Luis San Fabián and edited by Grau. The feelings of these young people during their schooling are ambiguous. They evoke the school as a place of repression where they have barely enjoyed support and understanding and much less interest since everything that was offered there did not connect with their day to day. What was its use? The confusion of these young people is collected with a graphic of opposite face silhouettes offering different dichotomies, education and repression, power and shame, obligation and uselessness, talentless and senselessness, inherit and permanent punishment, school life and failure. Graphic extracted from the same work by written by Gutierrez and Prieto. There are quite a few features in the different educational system, but it seems that the most recurrent occurs in terms of image and teacher commitment. The figure of the teacher is deteriorated, criticized for his lack of training, sensitivity and commitment. It is not that there is a recipe, but Andy Hardgraves and Michael Fulham in 2012 wrote professional capital, already mentioned the need to transform the professional teaching culture, its network of values and meanings. It is collected in a screenshot of the cover of his work on the right side, vesh in color and whose central photo is similar to the eye of a fish in salmon colors. Edited by Morata and awarded with the Graham Ware Prize 2014. The authors consider capital as the set of goods and values benefits that in this case correspond to the teaching profession. This capital must be manifested in invest in teacher training and qualification to achieve the desired benefits in education. Promote permanent learning and continuous updating to anticipate possible problems or needs of the students. Avoid the individualistic vision of the profession and that it becomes a collegiate and share work. For this, 
it is necessary to create learning communities between inter and intra labor groups. In short, the image on a great background reflects the need for rigorous training, continuous learning, collective responsibility, and the creation of a learning community, community as part of innovation. Career capital is made up of three other elements that need to be linked together, shown on a pie chart in pale colors. Gray in color, human capital, individual talent. How the teacher knows the subject and knows how to teach it, as well as being perceptive to the circumstances of the students. In orange, Social capital. Human capital is also achieved through the quality and quantity of personal relationships, colleagues who share concerns, experiences and from whom you also learn. Olive colored. Decision making capital. Collegiately, we all execute and make decisions go laying the foundation of how to deal with certain circumstances. This capital allows us to make judgment in situations where there is no norm formality of action and therefore the teacher is not exposed personally but rather would be supported by the rest of the teaching team. They have worked in a coordinated manner. This professional capital wheel urgently needs to be reviewed and launched, words highlighted in red on the right hand side.